Well, you said it, Brandon, a day filled with frustration as travelers get home, try to get home after the holidays. You can see some of the passengers still here right now. Here at Bush, 380 flights were delayed and 141 flights were canceled. That number climbing and trending in the wrong direction throughout the day. The airlines blaming the issues on weather and the Omicron variant. Frustrations were sky high. Delays and cancellations, the only thing soaring at U.S. airports across the country. Ty Peters was trying to fly home to Detroit. And we just got dropped off and I just got the notification on my phone. And it was just canceled. Nothing was rebooked. Peters is planned to return home, now up in the air, with the next available flight not until Tuesday. Well, we're looking on kayak right now and it's like 1200 per person to get out tonight. So I guess we'll be staying. But... Me and my husband both work. We have a baby at home. It's a nationwide problem. Since Christmas Eve, more than 13,000 flights have been canceled across the country. Airlines blaming a combination of wintry weather and the Omicron variant causing disruptions and a shortage of airline employees. Carlos Ochoa's flight to Nashville was delayed. I was a uh, message ping, uh, you know, text message, and then a second one, and then a third one, and they kept pushing it out. Bill McGinnis was trying to get his granddaughter Carly home to Denver. Luckily for them, there were no issues, and they're keeping their fingers crossed. It stays that way. She's uh, flying by herself. She's got school on Tuesday, so it's, we're blessed that her flight hasn't been canceled or delayed. Now we told you about the situation here at Bush, same situation or a similar situation at Hobby where they had 166 delays and 19 cancellations and the headaches are expected to continue tomorrow, Brandon. We're live for now at George Bush Intercontinental Airport, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.